Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. We got to talk about a few things because my three case is heating up. And like I told y'all, the feds were in South Dallas the other day and they was knocking on doors and stuff. Okay. Somebody is snitching. Okay. And a lot of people in Dallas is in their feelings about the snitching that's going on right now and how their spots is getting hit up and all of this stuff. And a lot of people want you all to think that they are just fine. I don't want, I, I, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. People are not fine as they think you think they are. Okay. If you're, all your spots are getting hit up and all your boys are going to jail and now one of your boys, allegedly DJ, is running around telling the feds some stuff so he can, you know, get off or, or do a deal with the feds. Um, something serious is a brewing now, okay, y'all? And now I'm understanding, you know, people are reaching out to me now and they're saying, this is why they, you, they got these bloggers coming at you right now. Because you are letting cats out the bag. And you let a couple out before you got in trouble. Then you got to let some out when you came back. And this is what they're getting mad about. Okay, y'all? Because nobody wasn't even talking about, you know, the, the, the guy in the wheelchair and stuff until I start talking about it. And connecting the dots that he's Trap's boy. Okay, y'all? Now, let me tell y'all this. Word on the street is. The reason why the mass hitter was running around hitting up people in the guy, the Zeddy guy that was in the wheelchair clothing line, because and the reason the timing that they did it is because word on the street, y'all. I'm gonna say allegedly, but this is what I'm hearing. These um people with screws missing, okay? I'm gonna just say it like that. They are they were sitting back talking about due to the fact that the Disney movie was about to come out, not the Disney, the Barbie movie was about to come out and you know that they have a lot of symbolism for the barbie movie and one of the biggest symbols in the barbie you know the whole barbie brand is the heart shape okay y'all and they got in their minds and y'all know they smoking their kneecaps off this was only you know this the only reason that they would even come up with something this new bit today in the first place okay but they got in their mind that if they get somebody to go around and start shooting up people's houses, hitting up people's places, that they will be all over the news. And if you put the person that's hitting up the place in your clothing line, and he got these heart shapes on his clothes, then this was going to pump up your sales. Word on the street, this is what these noopus days was, this is what they thought, okay? And when I let the cat out the bag, that um, Zeddy is one of... <laughs> traps boys okay y'all um this is when they all start getting mad at me and start trying to send their bloggers sending bloggers at me that's in their back pocket okay i told y'all a lot of these bloggers work together and i also told y'all that they they all they pretend like they're doing stories on certain people and acting like they're not cool with that person but in actual reality they are friends with these people i keep telling y'all i talk behind closed doors Okay, and they just sending off their subscribers and stuff because you're thinking that they're on the up and up and they care about cases and stuff like that. Now, a lot of people's reaching out to me telling me you are on point. This is why they call themselves mad at you because trapping them is calling themselves sending them at you because you are telling about their places getting raided. The, the um DJ tricking on everybody now. DJ is allegedly the one that's talking to the feds and telling everything. So now they are hooking up with their they, they little main bloggers that they got in their main pocket. And this is why now they are coming at my channel. Okay, y'all, this is what I'm hearing. But it's all good, y'all. It's all good. Because I just I just have to explain everything to um YouTube. And, and, and we, we about to get this stuff situated. You know, sometimes when you call yourself digging somebody else a hole, you might be digging one for your own self, okay? This guy has several channels that he is, you know, um just trying to con people out their money and all kind of stuff. 
telling people if you don't hit the like button, then you can get out of here. And people is bouncing on him, okay? Now, word on the street is he's starting to lose some subscribers since I just said what I said. But this person wasn't even in, you know, um, I wasn't thinking about this guy at all. I haven't done videos on this guy's, this guy in years, okay, y'all? And all of a sudden, I wake up one day, I got five complaints, okay they took down some of the videos i don't care they oh it doesn't matter i'm just saying the ones they kept up that's the one i re-talked about the one that they kept up because i figured they left that one up so i didn't do nothing wrong in that one so that's the one i re-talked about today okay um he went and called himself put in another complaint on that video that i just put out so they call themselves coming for me right now y'all okay i'm just letting you know and it ain't just him it's a circle of people that's all working together okay they call themselves coming for me to try to get be, get me to be quiet because, you know, I'm messing up, you know, trap them little situation that they got going on in Dallas. Okay, y'all? Um, but little do they know, it's a lot of people out here that don't like them. And people are going to talk. And remember, I was telling y'all about um, Tamara. They're coming at her, too. She reached out to me, and she asked me for information on everybody that was coming for me. She wanted all of the stuff that I had, I gave to her. And they're coming at her, too, the same way. When she talk about certain, you know, people that don't have nothing to do, allegedly. At least I, that's what I thought at first. That a lot of these bloggers didn't have anything to do with Mo3 and this and that and that and this. Um, you know, she's feeling the same way. That, that Why is they coming at her when they have nothing to do with this? Okay? But I just got a little birdie just came and told me something in my ear, y'all. The reason why this person is coming at me. It's because he has something to do with Mo3 too. Okay, y'all? He has something to do with Mo3. He's tied in with rainwater and all of this mess, okay? Now, another thing that I want to talk about that I have not talked about. You know, I just have been sitting back watching, listening, waiting to see what's what, what's what. Because I was one of the ones that was trying to give, you know, number seven the benefit of the doubt. That he did not help set up Mo3. But it's looking like, y'all. It's looking like it's a possibility that he did now. Okay, because how could you be sad to Mo3 and acting like you was so crazy about Mo3 while he was alive, okay? And then you was one of the last people that talked to him before he got taken out on the expressway. And the same person, Trap Boy, that was on the expressway, this is the one that, you know, um, number seven that called himself signed to. Now, the thing that I don't understand, how can you sign the Trap Boy Freddy? He can't even rap. And it ain't like he balling out of control because he, the reason why that he, you know, be showing those stacks of money and stuff like that, word on the street, that's not even his money. That money belongs to undercover polices, okay, that um he's working for. Word on the street, y'all. That's what I heard. Not undercover, but polices that, you know, like I told y'all about the building. See, the fence is not playing. They digging all up in some some folks' tale about this whole Mo3 thing right now, y'all. And it's getting a little heated. And this is why the bloggers is calling themselves, you know, certain ones coming over here trying to, you know, start up some mess. But be weary of the hole you try to dig from somebody else because you might mess up your own page, okay? This guy got several pages. So when YouTube started looking into him about, you know, just picking on somebody and this and that and that and this. And then the more that you're bringing attention to, you know, you call yourself bringing some attention to me, you know, to try to get me taken off. He might end up with his page gone. Okay. And he got several pages. Okay, y'all. Um, that he got posted up right now. So let him keep digging his hole. I'm not going to even trip on it. Okay, y'all. Do you, boo-boo. Because sooner or later... Your time coming too. Your time is coming too. And like I just told y'all, somebody just dropped a little birdie on me and said that he had something to do with the whole Mo3 thing. He knew the whole play on what happened to Mo3. This is why they all are in a huddle together. Okay? This is why they running game on all their subscribers together. They pretend like they are into it, then they make up, then they're into it, then they make up their story, keep changing. He did it, he didn't. He did it, he didn't. They're all in cahoot together, y'all. All of these guys, okay? And um, they don't like me putting out real information. Okay, y'all? I told y'all. I said that guy in a wheelchair, clothed, the reason why they arrest him for his clothing line, 
and this is what I was told. And if I was told this, was the police told this too? This is why they arrested the guy in the wheelchair, the Zeddy guy? Because they all got together and thought it was a good idea since the Barbie movie was coming out with the heart shapes and stuff that they would have somebody running around with heart shape taking people out. Do y'all see how simple minded some people are? That you would go and all, you it could have been anybody could have got taken out in that house. And they didn't hit up this this mass guy didn't hit up several people houses in Dallas. Okay, y'all. And they made this all up to make money off of the clothing line. What make you think that Barbie, the Barbie movie, want to be tied to somebody taking somebody out because they got on a Barbie, a shirt with a heart on it, y'all? This is how noopy state these guys are. They, I, I'm telling y'all, they got all the screws missing. I don't think it's none in their period, to be honest. And these bloggers that's all in, in and out in the middle of people mess, just like, you know, say no to brain cells. He all in the middle of, you know, the Dolph stuff. Then he's in the middle of the Mo3 stuff with the rainwater and all of this stuff. And imagine, I want y'all to think about something too. This is another thing I want y'all to think about. A blogger got on social media and said that rainwater ain't had nothing to do with it. Now, it's all um, number seven. That rainwater didn't have nothing to do with it. Well, let me tell y'all sis this and drop a little birdie in y'all ear about this as well. <laughs> and they feed off about me dropping these birdies. But I'm going to do it anyway, okay? Um, Word on the street is, rainwater is the reason why number seven, right after Mo 3 passed away, number seven, made, he made it his business to go over there and tell Mo 3's mother he didn't want to be with HSM anymore, okay? As soon as, I mean, this woman didn't even get a chance to, you know, mourn her son. And he did not even care. He went over there right when she was, you know, going through whatever she was going through with her son passing away, being taken out in the worst way on the expressway. And he showed up to her house to tell her he didn't want to be on the record label anymore. Word on the street is, Number seven and rainwater conjured that whole thing up together. Rainwater been in number seven's ear. Word on street. Okay? This is why that rainwater coached number seven to go get the mama to let him off the record label. Okay? And at the same time, he was coaching number seven to get him off the record label so he can get him to sign a deal with Empire. He was also in Mo 3's mother ear telling her gone and let him go then. This guy has been playing everybody from the start. Rainwater. Okay, y'all? And this is why they're mad at me. And then, like I told y'all, Trap Boy Freddy is catching all type of, okay, shit a cook. Okay, y'all? And he's mad. And he's using whatever he can, whatever he can do, to, you know, call himself to try to come to me, for me for whatever reason. Okay, y'all? But I'm just letting y'all know what's going on right now. Mo3 case is heating up. And they're turning on each other now. And Trap is mad because I said that, you know, all his boys is going, he throwing all his boys under the bus so that he can stay out here. I'm going to tell y'all this. If all your spots is getting hit up, Okay, and I mean all of them, okay? After hour joints, everything is getting hit up, okay? Um, the police is watching Trap Boy Freddy like crazy. They got all eyes on him, and not the police. The feds is watching Trap Boy Freddy right now. Their all movement is, you know, they're paying attention to everything and everything around him. And they're peed. They're peed off. And ask yourself, why would bloggers be mad be about me telling stuff about this whole Mo3 stuff? And why, why is they mad? I had other bloggers come to me and tell me this is Dallas business. Well, if it's Dallas business, why are you on social media talking about it? Is it to steer the narrative? Because that's all they've been doing ever since Mo3 passed. 
And then when I wouldn't go along with anything they want me to do or say or whatever, whatever, then this is how you want to come to me about, oh, I'm going to put in a complaint after complaint after complaint on her videos. And then we're going to get her out of here. We're going to get her out the way. This is what they call themselves doing. But it just might backfire. And you might be the one that your channels might go down because you sitting up here put just one thing um, YouTube don't like somebody keep bugging them and playing type of games and stuff like this. This is one thing. When you start putting in complaint after complaint, complaint on people for no reason at all, and whoever is coaching him to do this, they're sending him off because he going to mess around and lose his page because he keep bugging them. You already put in complaints on my videos. They took down what they wanted to take down. Which, I, like I said, I didn't care. Everybody knew what I had said already. My day ones, twos, and threes, everybody know. Where I stand with the whole thing with these guys, okay? Um, word on the street is he might mess around and lose his old... Uh, and somebody, whoever's in his inner circle that's coaching him to do this stuff, they don't like him either. They're trying to get rid of his page by having him keep messing with YouTube like that. They don't like to play these types of games, y'all. They don't. So, um, y'all just stay tuned, and we're going to see what's what, what's what. How in the world can somebody that's losing everything, somebody that's out here friend with somebody else's money, other police's and allegedly commissioner's money, because they letting Trap Boy Freddy where well, they was, because the feds watching them now, but they was letting Trap, uh, word on the street, sell whatever he wanted out here on the streets, and his boys. Okay. This is what they were doing. But now it's a hard for them to do these things. And now they're starting to wind down to where which police officers is tied to who's what and what and what as well, y'all. Okay? And see, they want to try to stop my page because I be putting it out there, okay? they I be putting it out there. And they all in their feelings. I ain't never seen a bunch of men in their feelings like they are about my videos that allegedly don't have nothing to do with them. It's got something to do with trapping them. So why is y'all so up in y'all feelings about it? You know why? Because they don't want Mo3 to have justice. This is why. Okay, y'all? So don't sit back and listen to people telling y'all a uh, one-minute old oh, Rainwater new artist was the one that took Mo3 out. Rainwater didn't do nothing. It was all number seven. If y'all gonna keep throwing y'all money to last, go and do as y'all will, okay? But as long as I got this mouth, I'm gonna keep continuing to talk about what's going on. And it's a sad thing when, you know, these criminals just keep on doing stuff over and over again. Just like I told you about that baby. I'm never going to get over that child that they took against her will because somebody else stole, allegedly, Traboy Freddy's little stash, okay? And they took that baby out. And they got away. And they've been getting away over and over again. They just, they take the fall guys and they leave out the people that's really behind it. But now the feds then took over. So uh, people in their feelings right now. This is why people so upset and running around. But keep being in your feelings. Because the more you be in your feelings, the more you keep on playing on YouTube. And, you know, the, for the love of me, the fact that you all you over there scamming all your subscribers and this and that and that and this on several pages. For the love of me, I cannot understand why you want to play these type of games and get kicked off of YouTube for just being petty. But this goes to show you, I y'all, I love me some Dallas, but I would never want to live in Dallas. I would never want to be around these snakes. Seriously. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. If I lived in Dallas, I would either go to jail for taking out all my enemies, so I, I wouldn't do it. I would not do it because there ain't no way where I would let them bully me like that. The way they have bullied so many people. It's so many people there don't even want to talk to the police because a lot of people police is that's crooked there. You know, they all run back and tell trap now what they saying and doing. And then you got these bloggers that's like to sugarcoat stuff and turn stuff another way just so people can get away with the things that they are doing. None of these guys had love for Mo3. And I noticed how every time it's either Mo3's birthday or the day that he passes, these same bloggers that's been trying to steer the narratives and send everybody off about what really went down with Mo3, 
they try to act like they celebrating his birthday or, you know, remembering him in this way and that way when a lot of them didn't even like Mo3, y'all. These bloggers did not like no Mo3. And they all knew, know what happened to him and they all are helping cover it up. Okay? And they make money off a of line on him over and over and over again. And when they got mad and let the truth out, okay? When, when, you know, when they found out about how each other was trying to get over on each other, they got mad at each other and they started letting the cat out the bag. And he told, he told y'all, okay? The count man, he told that rainwater said out his own mouth. Okay, that he got rid of Mo3. He met up with him that same day that they took out Mo3. Okay, y'all. So people are telling me now the reason why he's doing this is they all done got together, call themselves coming for you. Okay, y'all. So just pay attention to the stuff that's going on right now. It's all, and some of them is calling themselves, and it, I'm not even with no old Nan TV, but I'm going to tell you this word on the street is they coming for him too. Because he lets a lot of cats out the bag. And remember that female? I told you I wasn't going to deal with him no more if he was dealing with her because she don't do nothing but down me and this and that and that and this. She's a part of, you know, um, the little clique with the guys. Remember I was telling y'all about her? She got him too. She finally showed her colors for Onan. And now Onan is seeing that she wasn't right from the start. But some people have to learn on their own. They do. You know, everybody can't always just come to you and say, she's not right. He's not right. People don't listen sometimes. They got to learn on their own. And then when they find out, they're like, oh, okay, she was right about her. I told y'all, she was a snake when she was over there on Onan's channel. She was a snake. And she's in this whole little crew with these guys, too. Okay, they didn't pass her around and everything. She drives out of town to go you know, mingle tangle with these different bloggers, okay? This is why that, you know, she called herself one to Onan because they don't like Onan either, okay? They don't like him. And they calling themselves finna come at him and come at me. This is what I heard, y'all. And it's probably some more that they don't like. And they definitely don't like the fact that I took up for the other guy. What's his name? Um, Hassan Campbell. When they all was coming at Hassan Campbell and talking about Hassan Campbell was mingling and tingling with his own baby and this and that and that and this. See, these YouTube guys, sooner or later, YouTube is going to put their foot down and they're going to stop all of this pettiness. And it's a lot of people that's going to be looking real bad. And it's some big bloggers, some real big ones that done been like 300, 400,000 subscribers that done lost their page from being petty. And they ain't going to learn until they feel some of that, too. And it, sooner or later, it's going to happen, y'all. I promise you. Almost everything that I say, it comes it comes to light. Almost everything I say. And I'm, excuse me, y'all. Got choked for a minute. So, I promise y'all, keep watching keep playing attention okay people think that they're untouchable out here on these streets but they're not you tell all your business you tell everything that you're doing and everything else and you think that you can hide out forever you can't you think that you're gonna keep playing all of these games getting up with other bloggers and trying to come at other ones and all you think you're gonna keep getting away with this mess it's not going to happen because it's grown folks out here. And grown folks don't want to be putting up with little kids that's acting, you know, childish. And that's what y'all act like, a little kid. But I don't care what you do. Either way I go, the truth is coming out about everything that y'all did, who all was involved with Mo3. And they peed off, y'all. They peed off because they can't get a female to shut up and stop talking because, you know, they so used to bullying people. And trying to get their way with stuff. So this is what they're calling themselves doing. Y'all, <laughs> stay tuned. Because Mo3 case is definitely heating up. And they're turning on each other. And they're looking at me as if I'm the middle person. Because I have continued for all these years. Continue to talk about Mo3. And I'm going to continue to talk about Mo3. Until he get justice. Because what you all did was uncalled for. And it was jealousy, just like y'all jealous of me. And I have no clue why. But you are. 
And the things that y'all doing, y'all think that y'all doing something big? Keep on playing these YouTube games. And you're going to get some YouTube prizes. They're going to kick y'all off of YouTube for the games that y'all keep playing. Mark my words. Mark my words. Anyway, y'all, remember I told y'all about Tasha K a long time ago. Remember I told y'all um, my day ones, twos, and threes. I was like, she... In, in, um... Remember I was telling y'all about, um, what, what was it? It was something about <sighs> Jaguar Wright. Remember I was telling y'all about Jaguar Wright and then she, they, she, she should, leave, you know, back up off of Jaguar. That's going to bring some drama to her life. She's going to have some bad luck on what she did to, to Jaguar. Remember I told y'all this? And then look where Tasha K is right now. Sometimes it take a little time, but it happens. It happens. When I tell y'all something, believe me when I tell you something, okay? Whoever is calling themselves sending this guy at me, they trying to get his page taken. And they're going to sit back and they're going to laugh when he get caught up for online picking. Because you're already doing some underhand stuff already on social media. You're already doing a lot of underhand, underlying stuff. Okay? And this is why... Um, <laughs> they think they can continue to get away with it, y'all. But we gonna see. We definitely gonna see. But like I said, I'm just gonna ignore and go about my business because I, I don't even have time to play these little games. But you're seeing now that as the years are going on, you're starting to find out who was FOMO 3 and who wasn't. And now you're seeing that somebody that was, you know, Mo 3's, one of his right-hand men, he signed him to HSM. Now, you're on Trap Boy Freddy and them label or whatever they got going on. I don't see how anybody want to be on that bubblegum label anyway. And you got to think about something, too. A lot of people that's in Trap's inner circle are either going to jail or they're getting taken out. Even now, after Mo3 is gone. So ask yourself this question. Why would somebody want to run over there to Trap Boy Freddy and them sad? Is if they doing something big. Trap Boy Freddy is hanging on by a string. Okay? He then got so desperate, he tried to sing Mo 3 songs. I mean, who would want to be with the Bubblegum crew? One Hit Wonder crew. Who would want to be around that? Unless you've been with that all along. So now y'all seeing that number seven was a plant from the start. Okay, y'all? He was a plant from the start. And these bloggers from Dallas, a lot of them, they're plants too. So pay attention, y'all. And it's another one that wants to be down with the Dallas rappers. I mean, bloggers so bad. Don't ask me why. He's not even from there. But he want to be down with them so bad that he does everything in his power to get on a good side. Which just tells you, y'all, it's some fruity pebble stuff going on. Because why do men want to be, you know, so included in another group of men that ain't worth a doggone thing? Why would you want to be a part of that? But the Bible tells you people are fun of their own kind. So due to the fact that this whole crew of people is all clicked together to try to go after other people, that says a lot in itself. Okay, y'all? All of them are dirty. They don't call them the dirty, dirty, dirty Dallas for nothing. They living up to this. These bloggers that's from there, they're living up to this. This is why they playing these games on YouTube. Pretending like they care about Mo3 when they could care less. Okay? If they're going to make some money off of Mo3 fans, they're going to do it. Because y'all going to go to them to see, you know, Memories of Mo3 and all of this stuff. But these are the same people that try to help cover up his passing. These are the same people that know the whole play. But they're playing games on YouTube to try to hide it. And when somebody else ain't down with they click. And got their own man and doing their own thing. This is what they do. But y'all, it's some stuff seriously a brewing. Y'all stay tuned. And I am going to try my best to keep you, you informed on whatever it is I possibly can. Okay, y'all? Anyway. Justice for Mo3. Okay? Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.